is the first to try and address that new benchmark. Aerial splits. Getting some support from her Russian cousins. Yep. And of course, very happy. One of the highlights of today is going to be when that Russian national anthem is played in the victory ceremonies. They will be coming up after these competitions, still to come after this. Of course, we have the Doylean events, men's and women's. Very sharp yeah. combinations right there. Women's, about five teams. Front aerial. Oh, that's another one, front aerial, yep. Well, she's proved herself to be accomplished this week. And it might not get her the gold, but there is a wide variance that's still open for silver and bronze. 8.72 is the benchmark for silver. And from what we've seen this week, I don't believe there's been a silver medal given for an 8.70. No. Of course, if you want to check all the actual standings and the actual results from every single competitor this week, get on to 14wwc.iwuf.org. It's the official website of the 14th World Wushu Championships. Every discipline, both in Sanda and Taolu, um, every competitor and every result. And of course, on that note, I'll just remind you, the Sanda competition is yet to finish. Tonight, 7.30 to 10.30, the women's 48 kilogram all the way up to 75 kilogram and the men's 48 all the way up to 90 kilogram finals. These are the final fights. Robin Black and Tony Sims will be in the commentary box for that. Don't miss those streams on the IWF YouTube channel. Right, Lyudmila Temna from the Ukraine. Judges should be ready by now. Nine point four seven. Nine point four seven is going to take him, take her, sorry, into second spot. Looks like she got one deduction for touching the blade of her sword.